I'm a pediatrician by training. Over the past decade, really, I've been looking after the newborn. I work in Malawi, one of the countries in sub-Saharan Africa, where technology is an issue. I was trained in England, and so, you know, I, I came from a background where a year would pass without you losing a patient on the ward. When I was done with my training, I had to go back home. And then I was faced with this tough reality. Every day you walked on the ward, you just had this bad feeling, you know, another baby, not just one, two, three, and sometimes five would die. And when I looked at those babies that we lost, I knew if they were in a different environment, we wouldn't have lost them. Preterm birth is now the leading cause of global death for children around the world. In Africa, more than a million newborns die, and the vast majority of these deaths are unnecessary and preventable. If we look at newborn intensive care units in high-income countries, babies are surrounded by technologies designed to help them survive and to thrive. But in low-income countries, in African countries, babies have to rely on a donated set of equipment that is not designed to work in the harsh environmental conditions of those hospitals, the hot, humid, dusty conditions. We can change this situation. We can save newborn lives if we make available NEST, Newborn Essential Solutions and Technologies, a comprehensive set of technologies designed to deliver high quality, comprehensive newborn care. African newborn wards need a bundle of technologies. Technologies that are designed to be effective, affordable, and sustainable in that environment. But these technologies cannot be introduced one at a time or we continue to perpetuate the problem. They need to be introduced as a bundle of technologies paired with education systems to be able to train clinicians and technicians to both use this equipment as well as to repair and maintain it. This is not a project. This is a program. It is a program that is locally owned, that is driven by local physicians and local policymakers, and that is essential for sustainability. We don't want there to be a finish line. We want this to last forever. The NEST program will save hundreds of thousands of newborn lives through innovating a bundle of technologies, through educating a cadre of clinicians, technicians, and engineering innovators, through collecting and analyzing data in order to effectively implement the NEST package, and finally, through developing appropriate distribution systems in order to get the technologies and the spare parts to where they're needed most. The NEST team is so excited to begin rolling out comprehensive solutions for newborn units in four African countries, in Malawi, in Kenya, in Tanzania, and Nigeria. And it really marks, in some ways, the beginning of a journey forward, but in other ways, the end of a long journey to get to this moment in time. It's a moment in time where the attention of the whole world is focused on how can we reduce preventable newborn death. And the NEST team is capitalizing on the political will that exists to end preventable newborn death. It's no longer an idea or a plan, but it's actually what we are doing. We're changing from saying we could do this to we are doing this. And NEST is a reality. This is a team with a lot of really strong women that approach it from here. 
and we don't give up. And we get strength from each other. Uh, it's so exciting to be at a point where we're ready to move forward and make the change that we know is possible. Africa needs us, and the time is now. I think we have this lovely chance that we can make a difference once and for all.